mixing and general recommendations. It is more accurate to mix the resin by weight, but it is also possible to mix by volume. This is where crystal and honey resin comes in very handy. Their simple ratio of 2 to 1 allows mixing by volume and through the scales without critical errors. The error of 5 to 10% is acceptable for small volumes and does not affect the quality of the pouring. After mixing in a ratio of 2 to 1, we proceed to mixing. Everything is just up to 5 minutes with overflow from container to container, but there are details that you must understand. The more volume you have when mixing, the faster the reaction will go. The heat will be released faster, and the resin will warm up faster, and vice versa. The smaller your volume, the longer it will heat itself. The volume of mixing directly affects the lifetime of the resin. The room temperature conditions, which also affect the resin during mixing will either heat up the resin or take heat from it. And of course, the temperature that we set the resin initially. Preheating component, A, of the resin makes it easier to mix with the hardener and drastically shortens the lifetime of the resin. Use a plastic or silicone container, and after a day or two you can remove the leftover from it, and use it again. After obtaining homogeneous compound, you can start pouring. You can control the temperature. As soon as you feel the release of heat, then the solidification program begins to form, and you have 15 to 20 minutes left to work and pour. If you have leftover resin after work you, put it in the freezer. Polymerization does not occur at sub-zero temperatures. When necessary, remove the resin from the refrigerator and hold it in a water bath at a temperature of 40 to 60 degrees. The resin will become liquid and you can work with it again. If your fill is higher than 1 cm, then the resin itself will pick up the necessary temperature to begin freezing. And if the fill is small and the layer is thin, then it is better to warm up the resin and the formwork and put the fill in a warm place on the radiator or the cooling oven for four to six hours and never put it in a working oven or a hot stove.